introduction to embedded system and its overview challenges opportunities so as far as uh, the embedded is concerned one of the best uh, author in embedded system they are given the definition any sort of device which includes a programmable computer but itself it is not integrated to a general purpose computer it is embedded system and some other definitions also available embedded system is a system that has software embedded into hardware hardware software combination which makes a system dedicated for an application or a specific part of an application or a product or part of a larger system so this is it is also the collection of several interdependent system for a specific application they are interdependent it is embedded embedded system are also the electronic system that contain microprocessor con microcontroller used for a specific application we know that most of the embedded product microcontroller is in, in its core and if i talk about the microcontroller it is actually in its core it is the microprocessor and in most of the ug syllabuses there is microprocessor and a controller at that microprocessor what is microprocessor it is general term and general definition made it is a programmable device which has all the functions of a cpu or a computer like to access information to store information to process and to give the result in desired form mupi is made by mainly three things alu registers like general purpose special purpose timing control it is very core block diagram intel 8085 we used to have and just i have just one minute look now what is microcontroller if i say microcontroller is embedded itself function of all the circuit like ports timers memory serial controllers various other functions available in a single chip with inbuilt mu pin without mu pin there is no mu c and mu c is a core of our embedded system mu c equal to mu p plus ports plus timer plus memory plus serial control for blah 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 now there are some differences between mu p and mu c i just enlisted here just for a quick view mu p is including alu timing and control it is embedded function and all other differences available here instruction set and all these things now the major thing about risk and sisc now ris and csc they are the two terminologies used in the architecture of microcontroller and processors ris reduce instruction set computing cisc complex instruction set computing nowadays all the microcontrollers are using ris type of architecture who so called as con human and harvard architecture harvard architecture belongs to risk con human as sisc now what do what do how many do we use embedded if i talk about the use of embedded nowadays it is every day we are using it is just one survey has been taken average middle class home has 40 to 50 embedded processors like microwave washer dryer dish washer tv vcr many other air dryer coffee everywhere there is embedded luxury cars nowadays they are obviously having moon mini embedded processors personal computers is also having now actual hardware components of embedded system if you observe and that is the reason i am just observing here as it is having processor as a core then timer memories as data memory program memory serial communication then parallel ports interrupt controllers and these all things like power supply reset or cell press circuit they are the same here but these embedded systems are having the in the core as microcontrollers and the processors now as per as microprocessor is technology is concerned processors vary in their customization for the problem at hand there can be general purpose processor application specific processor type of asp and other as spp single purpose processor as per as general processor processor are concerned the structure is like this they are having the instruction register program counter the general one it is known as microprocessor then another is called as single purpose processor they can be called as co processor also accelerator or peripheral also so there is no program memory inside the single purpose processor they are having some control logic and another is application specific so this is application specific related to the specific application which is having taking the code from the program memory it may be input or externally connected data memory like ram or others and is a compromise between general purpose and single purpose 
because its application specific processors are available now the demand for this embedded product is going day by day it is just one survey has been taken from the source an embedded processor worldwide version market dollar shipment and day by day it is going on increasing the demand 97% of the processor have been sold 60% sales from processors and it is going on as per as the moore's law is concerned which is very famous one uh, studied most of them if financial capital doubles every 18 months and now there is this moore's law what where has moore's law brought us so just it is developing nowadays the vrsi technology and that 90 nanometer 65 nanometer 45 and they are all going 45 and even less than that also so 10 nanometer also it will they are going even 2 nanometers we might hold so these all come for the semiconductor technology for the chip manufacturing to vlsi number of transistor on chips obviously number of transistor if i just have the graph of just the moore's law is concerned transistor on the side and uh, transistor on one side and this uh, ears if i am excited so number of transistor at day by day day by day increasing and just i have taken the example of the processors as such like from 4 you know to 4 and 4 now if i use and for so this is the graphical illustration of moore's law is going on transistor transistor the space is reducing and the propagation is increasing in the industry real side technology because of that only our ICs are being manufactured in a very less space with higher functions some common characteristics of embedded system it must be single function it constraint low cost low power small fast reactive and very very real time because they are used in actual real time what is real time it is the present time so continually reacts to change in the system environment and must compute certain result in real time without any delay they are the actual three common characteristics expected now characteristics of embedded systems when they are elaborated in detail application specific deadline constraint and all these resource challenge and form factor and manufacturing value so they are the characteristics of our embedded system are expected now this is all about story about the embedded system now i am going for challenges in the field of embedded system who embedded what is embedded exactly it is this we all know as per as our students are concerned i have given the bit idea and that way i convey to the microcontroller processor are built they are the core of this embedded a challenge is concerned design constraint is one of the very important style challenge it must be of small size low weight low power harsh environment can <clears throat> be used in any type of environment system shock absorber vibration heat then power fluctuations then safety critical operation extreme cost sensitivity so they are the design constraint nowadays they are being observed next as far as design challenges is concerned how it is uh, does it really work does implementation with the specifications how we can test it for real time characteristics how do we work on the system like observability controllability what is our development platform they are the design challenges other than is design constraints then design matrices are concerned in case of design matrices one of the very important aspect is unit cost then as mre cost called as non recurring engineering cost one time monetary cost of design the system then size in performance power and flexibility they are the design matrices the as a challenge in embedded system as per design matrices which are continued here time to prototype time to market maintainability correctness safety so out of these the trade off in design matrices if i see so like this if i see the trade off it is nre cost nre cost is non recurring engineering cost the performance and size and power if you just go through it expertise with both software and hardware is needed to optimize in design matrices not just the hardware or software as it is common we need to have expertise in both it is are must be compatible with various technologies in order to choose the best for the given application and and the constraints time to market it is a demanding design metric time required to develop a product to the point 
it can be sold to customers just to observe the market window and it is like this in market window revenues versus the time so average time to market constraint is about 8 months delay can be costly and that delay is going to give the losses in the market if the if the delay of the any of the product or any of the product is delayed in the market in the definitely is going to make the losses as far as revenues are concerned so that's just this graph is showing on time entry and delayed entry as per the demand so this is there are the constraints and challenges inside the design inside the all costing or the entry in the uh, market also as per the requirement other design constraints are there it is dependability reliability maintainability and another as dependability so these all are the design constraints and then other than these real time considerations have been taken correct operation of real time means working correctly functionally correctly then producing outputs in present time so they all are the design consideration one of the hard real time and another soft real time if i concern so in case of hard real time system design to meet all deadlines in this deadline obviously it is a design flaw for example abs breaks nuclear reactor obviously they are going to connect with the human life also the abs break system is normally used in all types of vehicles and reactor monitoring system system hardware designed for worst case performance so they are the hard real time uh, design material design challenges firm real time as per this firm real time is concerned system design to meet all deadlines but occasionally missed deadlines are also allowed sometimes statistical content as 5% misses for example multimedia system but they are in firm real time system hardware design for average case performance and tested under average ideal condition soft real time system designed to meet as many deadlines as possible best effort to complete with specified time but me delay example network switch or router system hardware designed to average case performance and so on so there are three real time soft hard and firm next levels of system design requirement is very first as per requirement you can have the specification then its architecture design the component and the integrated and they are the various levels for the embedded system designs in case of traditional embedded system design approach it is deciding on the hardware give the chief software people and software programmer must take software fit on the chief only use that hardware's capabilities problem with increased complexity day by day systems are become more and more complex harder to think about the total design harder to fix the bugs harder to maintain systems over time and they are going on increasing the complexity therefore traditional development process has to be definitely changed design with time constant in embedded electronics total design cycle must be fixed and historically the whatever designs we have just gone through for automotive electronic system take three to five years to develop must be reduced to one to three year development cycle so and reliable and safe also so possible ways to do need to keep design process abstract for a longer period of time decomposable hierarchy and it is more as object oriented rather than procedure oriented and that is the reason nowadays c languages like c++ and java they are being used here reuse procedure revise designs uh, whatever the previous design have been made it can be reusable also and automatic verification systems automatic in case of design abstraction start of design processes overall functionality has to be understood and that functionality has to be captured and accordingly we should work system components have to be identified system shall be modeled at higher abstraction level and implementation phase is concerned these embedded details are provided for fine tune the design so this is all needed for design abstraction for low abstraction level is needed as far as this all informality of embedded system is concerned i have gone through the case study of acvm stands for automatic chocolate bending machine as one of the example and the requirements will be obviously as purpose imports signal events notification outputs and they are the all design matrices in case of system design system of uh, designing the system of this automatic chocolate bending machine as one of the embedded application specific system then abstraction level will be like this 
it is important to work on the right level of the abstraction like system level, chip level, register, gate, circuit, last step, semiconductor, silicon. Lower the level of abstraction, the more detail can be definitely fine tuned as the levels is going on lowering. Definitely the design will be more fine tuned. Hardware versus software, if you go for many functions can be done by software on a general purpose processor or hardware on an application physical also. Example, game console, graphics, PWM, PID control. PWM is normally used in the hardware control in as per information and PID also. Leads to hardware software code then concept and that hardware software code then actually synchronized. Hardware or software where to place functionality, uh, definitely we need to decide here. A sort algorithm faster in hardware. Hardware is obviously faster compared to the software. But definitely it is more expensive and it requires huge design concept. More flexible in software but definitely it is slower. Must be able to explore these various trade-offs like cost, speed, reliability, size, weight, power and already we have discussed in last time also. Hardware versus software if I talk about. So this is my performance versus the design time. So this is hardware full custom A6 standard sales are available. It is A6 stand for your application specific integrated circuit. And where normally you have CPLD complex programming logic devices and FPGA free program data is. So this is all for the so-called hardware versus software. Software cost and hardware cost are concerned. Hardware is mostly a recurring cost. Software is one time non-recurring. So this chart is showing you about the software and hardware cost. Paid only once, non-recurring, and hardware is going to be changed accordingly requirement. Next, disciplines which are used in embedded system design. There are a number of disciplines, number of I listed only a few here. The design of embedded system draws upon several disparate disciplines in computer science, electrical engineering, electronics and telecom. Application domain like signal processing, software engineering, programming languages, compilers, VLSI, parallel distributed design and real-time system in both way as hard and soft real-time system. As far as future embedded systems are concerned, like shaving machine, already it has been there, then transportation, consumer electronics, concrete sensor, clothing and number of communication, translation, uh, transmission or whatever. Next, future of embedded system is available and it is having the you know, great future with uh, wide range in various areas like uh, gateway operators with and communication engineering also so will people adapt to this other than toy definitely if i talk about every system normally there was one toy as of having some intelligence with it now definitely it is going to operate so other than all these products of a medical system, they will be, I mean, embedded system will be available in most of the all type of working domain, all types of domains in various application areas. So we can make system readily accessible, ready, uh, reliable, affordable, and the possibilities are almost endless. Challenges on future embedded system, definitely there are challenges, more complexity. People definitely expect more functions and higher performance from their electronic product. This leads to more complex software, definitely which requires better and better design process. More importantly, through testing of our safety critical system, diagnostic codes for any issues is a half of its total software codes. Next, challenges hardware to improve performance, software, reusability, testing, verification, network, higher connectivity between the system, smart homes, linked many systems together. Security like protection against attacks and design improved methodology. So there will be approach so called as SOM and SIP approach. So companies in the industry 4.0 area are facing new technical and marketing challenges and need to balance capacity. Investment, company direction and decision making process to deliver reliable solutions and win market share. To accelerate application development and circumstances are Government to certain parts, engineers have two increasingly popular integration strategies open today, and they are SOM and SIP approach. SOM is the system on module, SOM, and SIP is a system in package. System in package approach also called as SBC as a single base, single book computer. In addition to learning about the benefits of SOM and SIP solution to implement MPU based industrial system, we will also see what is involved in developing a full discrete solution 
So SOM, it is a system or module with a small PCB embedding the MPU, PMIC, DDR, SDRAM, flash memory, fossil component. The SOM can also be at other functions including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all things come together. It is a SOM approach. Developer can safely start with the design much faster than designing a full application based on this grid IC implementation. It is SOM. What is system in package SIP single board computer? SIP single board computer module a single component that embeds in a package all necessary components of electronics of system which as MPU, PMIC, DDR, PSU. SIP module is then soldered on the top of motherboard. It is a SBC. It simplifies the design of complex electronic system. So there, there are some SBCs available nowadays. And these SBC single based com single board computer are very well known to all of as Galileo SBC, development board for embedded application, Eagle board with OMAP SOC technology, and last very, very famous nowadays in the student era, it is Raspberry Pi SBC based uh, embedded application. Next, I am going for Intel Galileo board. It just I am giving the introduction. It is Intel Galileo board. It is uh, uh, low power open source SBC and it is a gift of uh, the Galileo board which is based on or SOC system on chip. Next, I am talking for Beagle board. Beagle board is a low power open source SBC single input computer. It is one variant from Beagle board embedded devices. The size and weight considerations are most critical, such as quadcopter drones and other miniature robotics, uh, along with handle gaming application. So this is my uh, second one and third is the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a small, very small SBC single board computer development by Broadcom and is widely used in many areas such as for weather monitoring because of low cost, utility and open design. So it is typically used for embedded computer electronic professional due to its adoption of HDMI and to has uh, a very important in USB. So Raspberry Pi model is recently released with 1.5 gigahertz 64 bit quad core ARM processor in it. So, future trends as far as embedded system designs is concerned, embedded systems are on the rise and the technology paves the way for the future of smart manufacturing across the range of industries. Microcontroller hardware at the center of embedded system are improving quickly along for better machine control and monitoring. The key characteristics of embedded system include speed, security, size, and power. Future research for embedded system design improves security for embedded devices. Cloud connectivity, mesh networking, reduce energy consumption, visualization tools, real-time data, deep learning applications. The embedded system market is shaping up for simplified cloud connectivity, improved security tools, and all others. Deep learning, whatever has been done, just we have taken it. The world in 2030, which its predictions have been given, and there are 10 predictions for the next decade. Faster prediction, it is healthcare innovation will definitely reach at the worst speed. Even for cancer, maybe around the corner. Cash will be but a distinct money. Semiconductors definitely will be everywhere and everything. Wearable technology will be the lines of reality. And inside this wearable technology, the huge research is going on as far as wearable antennas are also concerned. Digital entertainment, entertainment will take center stage. Autonomous vehicles definitely is hitting. Brain machines are ruling the world, road and renewable energy will power the world and innovative companies will make the world very better. So this completes my all the regarding about the embedded system, its challenges and the approaches for its remedies. Thank you, thank you very much.